Hello everyone, good evening. I'm coming on live and I'm really super excited. If you're catching this on YouTube or Instagram, let me know that you caught this in the comments below and feel free to drop your comments, questions, insights, whatever you wanna ask about or say in the comments below. This is what I was pulled to talk about today. I really do hope that it serves someone. I think, you know, first of all, if this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, especially if you're watching on YouTube or Instagram or something, uh, my name is Stefan Tura. I'm the Psychic Soul Alignment Coach. I work with spiritual people and spiritual entrepreneurs to help them to do very deep levels of healing work known as shadow work, inner child healing, uh, all that kind of stuff. And basically, as I help my clients do these very deep levels of healing work, they're then able to powerfully connect with their soul on a deeper level, with more of their higher self. And as they do this and they embody more of who they truly are, on this soul level, on this higher self level, they're then able to move through life with so much more ease and grace and create more of what they want with ease and grace. So that's how I help people. Um, on my YouTube channel, you will find content on the topics of spiritual entrepreneurship, manifesting mindset, healing, spiritual activism, whatever I feel called to share. There's going to be a video that I release, hopefully in like an hour or so, um, titled something like, what my life is like as a psychic healer. <laughs> And the struggles now something like that more or less that video is kind of to share a little bit of the behind the scenes of you know what life is like for me as a psychic healer and being super aware of you know inner work I got to do to stay in alignment and just all this jazz so be sure to go check that out on YouTube I will link it up here I think I have to point this way on YouTube um, for you to go click that in the card section and watch that video when it gets published which hopefully is soon, because it's already uploaded at last. <laughs> um, but anyway, I wanted to come on here um, and talk about how manifestation can suck, because this past week I have been showing up in my Facebook community talking about manifestation, and I did a video talking about uh, what my move back to the U.S. has taught me about manifestation. So I'm not in the U.S. yet. I'm working on moving there. <laughs> And the things are finally moving forward and that has taught me so much so I did a video on that the audio is a bit um, I don't know like crazy put your subtitles on <laughs> your captions whatever put them on so you can listen to the part where the audio goes down I talk more about that in the video vlog that I'm talking about just now that I mentioned a minute ago and why that happened in my video but anyway and um, then I did a video on why some manifestation tools practices and rituals techniques don't work. So I've been talking about manifestation. And today I wanna to continue that conversation talking about how manifestation can suck because I don't think I've ever seen a video actually on the internet talking about the subject, about how manifestation can suck. I think what I mainly see or have seen thus far in the online community around manifestation is just people sharing their successes, um, tools, techniques, rituals to help manifest, uh, manifestation teachings, but I don't think anyone has ever shared, and to my knowledge, I've never seen it at least, that manifestation can suck. <laughs> and so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to say because these videos are just kind of off the cuff and I just say whatever I feel guided to say and share. But one of the things that I got um, as per this topic today, because I didn't really understand where to go with this, and I was like, guys, what do you mean by this? is that um, a lot of times when we start learning about manifestation and all of these teachings and these practices that we can do to support ourselves in manifesting our desires, we start implementing them. And sometimes as we're implementing them, we don't see results. We don't see any signs of our manifestation. And that can trip us up a lot. You know, I remember um, years ago when I first taught manifestation, one of my clients in the group was struggling a little bit with manifesting because everyone in the group seemed to be manifesting a certain thing that they had been assigned to manifest and this person felt like they weren't um, able to do that and they were just like, how come, you know, it's not happening for me? And, and that's what happens sometimes, you know, you see everyone 
talking about these practices, these techniques, and it's working for them and the amazing things that it does for them or they've been able to achieve. And then you see other people in the comments or wherever else, you know, talking about how like it worked for them as well and it's doing this for them. And you put them into practice and then sometimes you see like no signs of any manifestation coming your way. And it can suck in that moment because you're like, how come it's not working for me? Like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> or am I doing something wrong, you know? So sometimes we can find ourselves in this place of feeling really challenged by these things because we're truly doing our best to show up and put in the work, you know, and putting these things into practice. But then when we don't see the results, it can really um, bring us down sometimes, right? So sometimes that's how manifestation can suck. And I think it's really important to speak on that because what I want you to know is that if that's your case, if you feel like things aren't working for you, I kind of already discussed that in that video where I talked about why some manifestation techniques don't work. So be sure to check that out. I think it's up here in the cards. But, um, you know, there's nothing inherently wrong with you. You might not even be doing it wrong per se you could be doing it all right but there's so many different factors for why sometimes the manifestations or signs of the manifestations just aren't coming one of those factors could be really really strong attachment right and so when you're really really attached to something and you really want it badly you actually push it away from you you actually kind of repel it unintentionally because you're coming at it from a place of like neediness or codependency. You know, I need this manifestation to prove that it works and that I can manifest more things or I need this manifestation for whatever reasons, right? And so that could be one of the reasons why it's just not coming through and you're not aware of that. And so as you're implementing though the manifestation practice and you're not seeing results, it might lead you into a negative spiral. It might unintentionally cause you to think negative things and like create negative beliefs that you probably wouldn't have had <laughs> if you hadn't been having that experience you know and so that's how it can suck sometimes you know it can cause you to not believe in yourself not believe that you're supported not believe that you can make something you know whatever you want happen um, and then that just ends up leading you down the road to having to do inner work around that to clear that up you know to let that go it's kind of like let me give you this example that's coming to mind right now it's kind of like if you get you you do a homework assignment at school and everyone in your class is getting like really high grades and it just so happened that on that one homework assignment you get like a, a failing grade or a really really low grade and then just from that one grade you automatically assume like you're dumb or you're never going to excel in life you know and it causes you to program yourself in this way and think these negative things about yourself. So then as you move forward in life, you're going to struggle more, whatever. And then you're going to have to do the inner work to release that limiting belief about yourself and actually see yourself as not being dumb. You're actually fully capable. You just maybe, for whatever reason, just didn't do well on that one homework assignment, but you can do better and better and better. So sometimes we unintentionally... Um, by putting into practice these things around manifestation, we inadvertently, I guess, create more inner work for us if, if we start developing negative beliefs about ourselves and about our ability to manifest based on the fact that maybe things just aren't coming in as quickly as we would like or in any way. So when we start developing these negative beliefs, then that, you know, create some challenges that we're going to have to get through in the future. And that's how it can suck, right? So I don't think anyone talks about this. Um, let me know if this has been your experience at some point. I know I've definitely gone through periods of that in some ways um, in my own journey. So let me know in the comments below if this resonates with you and anything you want to share. Now, another reason why manifestation or learning about things like manifestation or the law of attraction can suck is because... I feel like a lot of the teachings out there quite often teach people to rely on something outside of themselves. So there's nothing wrong with practices that people teach you to help you get your headspace in the right place, get your energy in the right place, etc. They're all really good things. 
you know, or to support your energy. They're all really good. As I've stated in my last video on why some manifestation techniques don't work, the purpose of these tools is to assist us in manifesting. But sometimes the way it's communicated to people or the way people understand what's, you know, being what they're learning, you know, the way that they take it in, the way that they perceive it is like, oh, I need to do this practice in order to manifest. And when you come from that place of, oh, I need to charge my crystals to manifest. Oh, I need to write this a million times or whatever to manifest. Oh, I need to do, you know, X, Y, Z or whatever to manifest. When you come at it from that space, a lot of times you're giving your power away and you're basically saying a lot of times that, you know, I don't have what it takes within me to create this in my reality. So I need to do this. I need to like reach outside of me to make it happen. Does that make sense? And so that's how um, sometimes manifestation can suck, I guess, is because when you think you have to do these things, then you don't recognize that the power is within. <laughs> you don't recognize that you're the one that's creating, not necessarily the tool or the, the ritual or the technique or whatever. It's not necessarily that, it's you. It all comes from within you. But when you think otherwise, when you think, no, it's the tool, it's the practice, it's the ritual, it's the thing, when you think it's that, then you're putting your power outside of yourself. You know, you think that these things outside of you are responsible for your ability to manifest when it's not the case <laughs> at all. And so that's how manifestation um, can suck because when you come to believe, whether it's because someone directly taught this to you or that's how you understood it, because again, sometimes we understand things erroneously. And so when you believe that it's the thing that you're doing that's allowing for you to manifest, then you are constantly a slave to that thing. <laughs> you are giving up your sovereignty and you're thinking, this is what I got to do. And sometimes you force yourself to do these things, right? You force yourself to do these things because you think if you don't do them, you're not going to get. That is why manifestation can suck. Why sometimes learning about manifestation, the law of attraction can suck. Because people think that I got to do this to receive. And you don't recognize that you're already whole and worthy as you are. And that you have to really feel that and believe that within you to attract. You don't necessarily need to do these things. These things are just there to support your energy. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with them. I still put them into practice, but I put them into practice from a place of being in my power, not from a place of, oh, I got to do this to get. No, it doesn't happen that way. So I'm not saying to stop those things. I'm just saying tweak how maybe you're viewing them and recognize whether you're giving your power away or not, right? So that's how manifestation can sometimes suck. Hopefully my audio is doing well today. I don't know. I've been having some issues with audio. Let me know in the comments below. So um, that is how, you know, manifestation can sometimes suck in making people give up their power. And also there was another point I wanted to make with that. Where is it? I just had it, but then I got distracted. I don't know. I can't remember. If I'm supposed to remember, it will come back to me. But, you know, this is how manifestation can suck. Also, other ways in which manifestation can suck, it's coming back to me. I feel it. <laughs> is that, oh yeah, here it is. You can do these manifestation practices and rituals. But like I said in my last video on why some manifestation techniques don't work, Sometimes, de depending on where you're at in your spiritual journey, your tried and true tested ways of manifesting will stop working. <laughs> they won't work for you anymore because you are probably learning something that you need to learn on you know, a deeper soul level. Um, and that tool is something that you have to let go of in order to come to a greater understanding of your truth. That sounds really out there and vague, I think, but how can I explain this? So how I've come to learn to understand manifestation through, and this, what I just said, <laughs> um, how I've come to learn what I just said, that sometimes your tried and true manifestation tools, techniques, and rituals will stop working for you based on where you're at in your spiritual journey is because 
I've gone through periods where when I first started learning about manifestation, certain things that I put into practice worked so well for me because that was my next step in what I needed to do to help me recognize my power, to help me to be able to more easily manifest, to help me to bring my energy in alignment, whatever, like all these different things. So they were appropriate and relevant for where I was at in the moment and they worked super well for me. But as I went further down the road and I evolved more, I grew more, I had to learn to embody deeper spiritual truths. As I was further down the road in my journey, when I tried to go back to those old, you know, manifestation practices and stuff, those like more basic elementary things that used to work so well for me, they didn't work anymore. They didn't work because putting them into practice was not going to help me integrate and embody the deeper truth or the lesson or whatever that I was going through at the time. And so it wasn't that the tool or whatever wasn't any good. It's just like that wasn't relevant anymore to where I was at at the moment, right? And so this is sometimes how manifestation can suck because you think like, why isn't my tried and true tested ways like working for me anymore? Like they worked fine. Like I'm doing them now. Like why, why isn't it happening? And it's like, well, because maybe it's not relevant to where you're at. It's not what you need in that moment. That's part of the spiritual path. <laughs> and so I've really had to come to understand that. So that's how sometimes manifestation can suck because, you know, when you are wanting to do what you've always done, but you've up leveled, like it's just not going to work anymore. Hope that made sense. Right? So these are just some ways that manifestation can suck. There is one more way that I am meant to talk about, but I'm not sure what that is. So what is that guides? Something about feelings. Oh, I think I get it. Um, all right. So sometimes what it impacts your ability to manifest is your feelings. So when you are going through heavy emotional places or when you are deeply emotionally triggered by things in a non like like a not positive way i guess that can impact your ability to to manifest what you want so if for example right when we're manifesting a lot of times we're building up the energy to something that we want but then if something comes and kind of like gets us off our path emotionally and we kind of go into a downward spiral, then we can halt that momentum that we were building towards our manifestation. And if as we're manifesting something that we want, but our feelings are opposite to what we want, we, we fear it, we're full of worry around it or whatever and we're just consumed with these fears like they to the point where they overwhelm us then that can impact our ability to manifest a lot of times it does um and those are the tricky things about manifestation is like these things um like it's not just about getting your thoughts positive. It's not just about repeating affirmations or doing certain practices. It's not just about that. Like you really have to embody the energy of the version of yourself that has your desires. But when your feelings that are deep inside of you, uh, when they overpower you, like your negative feelings, they overpower you, then it keeps you from really being able to powerfully align with your desires because you have trouble embodying the energy, the feelings, the mental well-being of the version of you that has what you want because your feelings are dragging you back to your old stuff or whatever. And so I don't think people talk about that. And that's how, you know, manifestation can suck because when you 
want to manifest something that's really important to you that means a lot to you like on the one hand you might consciously want it but subconsciously you might be really afraid of it you might feel unsafe to receive it like there might be some deeper issues there that resist your manifestation and when you're making your way close to your manifestation sometimes those feelings will just pop up intensely and try to like grab a hold of you and drag you back and sometimes that anxiety that fear that worry that doubt can be a lot and can be really intense and then it just takes you off of the positive momentum that you were on and so that's how manifestation can suck sometimes is like when you're manifesting things that are really important to you that mean a lot to your heart and your soul and you really truly desire them but you haven't yet processed these deeper emotional things then what happens is a lot of times your manifestation is going to trigger these intense emotions inside of you and the closer you get to your manifestation sometimes the the more intense the louder that emotional voices or those voices are and it can just pull you back you know and that's what can suck sometimes about the manifestation because and I've definitely been there myself like I know what that's like it, it is an intense experience like I can't speak for anyone else but for me I definitely know how much it sucked <laughs> to feel like I'm so close to my manifestation but then my thoughts are like going crazy and like trying to fill me with negativity or my body is like freezing up and getting tense and stressed out and I'm getting anxious or whatever and then it's just like triggering all these things because I'm on the verge of a breakthrough and like stepping into my manifestation and then all of this chaos is happening inside of me and it's crazy <laughs> and that's why manifestation can suck <laughs> um, but you know you eventually can get through that uh, it's a process though but yeah so these are just some ways that I kind of wanted to come on here and talk about how manifestation can suck I guess it's not it's not what a lot of people talk about but whatever you know these are truths these are just facts of like how it can be and um you know how sometimes learning about manifestation of the law of attraction can uh, trigger us can disempower us can um unintentionally cause us to have more limiting beliefs and fears and stuff to work through you know and all these different things but you know it is what it is and I don't want you to walk away from this video thinking that like oh you need to never learn about manifestation and go there or whatever like no you know I just want you to be aware that sometimes these things happen and if it happens it's okay like it happens you know but just because manifestation um, as you practice it can potentially cause you to create more negative limiting beliefs and stuff doesn't mean you can't undo those you can undo them okay it's not the end of the world you can turn things around get back in your power and believe in yourself again um, or just because you know learning about manifestation and the law of attraction and putting it into practice can cause you to think that you're giving your power away you know like you need these tools and practices in order to um, manifest like okay yeah if you recognize you've been giving your power away to these things that you think you need to do them in order to succeed um, then you start taking your power back and you start shifting how you view that, you know, and the relationship that you have with these tools and practices or techniques, because like I said, I still put them into practice, but it's not from a place of, oh, I need to do this because if I don't do this, then I won't get what I want. It's not from that at all, right? So shift how you're perceiving these tools, how you're choosing to use them and implement them. Shift your perspective around it, your focus, and create a better relationship, right? Come back into your power, you know? Just because um, manifestation and putting these things into practice can trigger intense, you know, mental or emotional anguish in you sometimes as you're nearing your manifestation doesn't mean that you should be scared of it. It's part of you, you know, aligning with more of who you truly are and purging what isn't. And, um, you know, going through this process doesn't have to scare you into running back to your old self or your old ways or your old reality, okay? Um, and then I don't know what the other thing I said because I said four things but you know what I'm saying so I don't want you to think that 
you shouldn't learn about this. This is just sometimes part of the journey and I don't think people talk about this part of the journey and it's important to talk about that and address it and have awareness of it so we can navigate it with much more ease and grace and not think that like, oh, I'm the only one, you know, that's doing this wrong or whatever your crazy beliefs might be in that moment right so that's what i wanted to come in here and talk about today i'm not sure if i have any comments because i don't see any um sometimes facebook acts crazy but yeah i wanted to talk about that so with that said i'm going to be showing up the rest of the week doing videos as i feel called to they might be facebook lives on my personal in my community on my business page on instagram i have no idea i just go wherever i feel called to go but if you really enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up, a like wherever you're watching from. Drop me a comment in the comments below. Let me know how these messages today resonated with you, if you've experienced them or not. If you have any questions around manifestation, I'm happy to answer them, to potentially do videos on them. I will be sharing more of my experiences and insights on manifestation. And also with that said, I'm super happy to announce that I'm launching my new manifestation program at the end of the month and it's called Next Level Manifesting. And I'm super excited about this program because I've just learned so much about manifestation since 2017, all the do's and don'ts and what truly matters when it comes to manifestation, how to really create from within, how to really embody this next level self that has what you desire. And that's what the program is about. It's a 12 week program to really support you in really being able to powerfully create, okay? And I'm gonna maybe do a whole video talking specifically about the details to put it out there for whoever wants to um, learn more about it because I don't know if I wanna do a sales page on it. I'm not sure, I'll sit with that. Um, but I'd rather just do a video for the moment and just be like, here are all the details of this program. <laughs> if it speaks to you, reach out to me, sign up. But yeah, that's basically it. I'm really excited about next level manifesting. This is going to be my most powerful program around manifesting because it's actually like what you truly need to know in terms of manifesting. I've experimented a lot with manifesting over the last few years. I've been able to recognize what truly matters, what doesn't, what's necessary, what isn't, and uh, what mistakes to avoid, etc. So that's what next level manifesting is about. It's about you really being able to understand what are the key components to manifestation and how to really powerfully align with that version of you that has the life, the reality that you desire and guiding you through that process. So I will be giving more details in that video that I said I would be doing. And if you're interested in this though, reach out to me via the social medias. Let me know that you're interested and I'm happy to, you know, have a conversation with you or answer any questions you may have still. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited if you sign up by next Sunday. So I don't even know what the date is, but we're gonna look it up right now. If you sign up by next Sunday, then you're going to be able to um, receive the early bird bonus, which is two private one-on-one -on -one sessions with me valued at $800. So that is going to be if you sign up the last day to sign up is august 22nd okay so if you sign up by august 22nd then you're going to be able to receive these two one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching calls with me that you can have during the program or after and they're one hour long and that's where i'm going to be able to support you with your own manifestation things and assist you with any support that you may need <laughs> to align with yourself with your desires and um yeah we start on the 28th. So the 28th is when we start kicking things off. And the first week is going to be preliminary work to help you to, you know, get things ready for the program. And then the week after that is like when we really start with the module lessons and we go all in. And it's just going to be super amazing to see people transform into the version of themselves required to create what they desire. And I'm really excited about that. So more info coming up in that following video. But I really hope that you got something out of this video today. And like I said, if you're interested, reach out to me. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.